Here's another question from Lois in New Jersey. How do you die to yourself? <laughs> uh, th that's one that, um, you know, everybody needs to talk about, but nobody wants to talk about. <laughs> it is something, is it something you do in your own strength? Like if you feel anger rising in a situation, do you try to control your emotions by not reacting? Well, I would love to write a book on dying to self, but I just don't think very many people would buy it. <laughs> I think it would be a real dud. It's probably <laughs> might one... sit on the shelf too long because yeah. it says dying to self. It's one of the it's one of the things that people need to learn because Jesus said, if you want to be my disciple, you have to forget yourself, lose sight of yourself and all your own interests, and follow me. Well. You know, dying to self, I, I like to say this because I've been through this. I think God has a little toolbox that he uses to help us. As soon as you pray and say, you know, I don't want to be selfish. I want to die to self. I want to be what you want me to be. Example, I was not very interested in submitting to a man when Dave and I got married. Yeah. I'd been mistreated and abused by men, and so I just didn't have much interest in that. And didn't know how to do it, didn't want to do it, didn't want to learn to do it. And when I finally got to the point where I wanted to learn to do it, regularly I would have situations come up where Dave wanted me to do something that I did not want to do. Hmm. And I kept thinking, why does this just keep happening? But see, God has to set up situations for us to go through, to learn from, and to practice on. For our, so, for our own good. For our own good. It's like if you decide you're going to start working out, I mean, you're not going to get big muscles overnight. You're going to have to keep lifting those weights and keep lifting those weights, and you're going to get sore, and it's going to be hard. And so why the Bible says in James 1, when you fall into various trials and temptations, be joyful, knowing that it worketh patience, and when patience is in full bloom, then you're perfect and entire, lacking in nothing. Well, I said my trials brought a lot of things out of me before we ever got to patience, but those are good too. So I can just tell her, how do you die to yourself? You tell God you want to, and then you just wait <laughs> yeah. for the situations that he sets up, and then when they come, you pray that God will help you do the right thing in each one of them no matter how difficult it is. You know, the flesh will stay alive as long as you keep feeding it. So every time you give your flesh what it wants, you're feeding it, it's going to stay strong. Every time you take something away from it, it's going to throw a tantrum just like a little kid. But every time you don't feed it, it gets a little bit weaker and a little bit weaker. So it's a process. That's a great way to look at yeah. it. it. It it gives you hope right. that as I do this, I will see progress, I'll learn, and it right. will become easier like along the way. Like submitting to Dave's authority, it was like, I can't even tell you how hard it was in the beginning. Yeah. I mean, I sometimes I'd have to run out of the room and go lock myself in the bathroom and just... And, but if I was able to obey God and do what he wanted me to, then the next time... It was just a little bit easier. <laughs> I'm not going to say it was like, oh, wow, I'm free. Yeah. It was a little bit easier. And we went through that over and over and over until now, to be honest, if I don't get my way, it doesn't upset me that much because I've come to the point where I know it's not worth it to right. be upset. And if God wants me to have it another way, he's the only one that can make it happen. I can't. And... So the, the longer you go, the more you learn to trust God and turn things yeah. over to him. Well, I love the way that we're talking about these things because they're very, very practical and they are time savers. We don't think about it that way, but it spares us so much heartache and wasted time if we can really focus on these things with God's help. So well, thank you. Well, trying to do things that only God can do is a total Ugh. waste of time.